the kickoff our, on our anniversary show with the feature story that was part of the first broadcast on Monday night, October 3rd, 1977. The story featured a widow who raised registered Angus cattle in central Mississippi. Farm Week's first host, Bruce Johnson, introduced the story. Not only does Mrs. Lillian Thornton get around more like a woman half her age, but she also operates by herself a livestock farm. We think you'll enjoy getting to know her. I grew up on a farm with 12 of us, nine boys and three girls, and I must have learned a great deal about some forms of farming, especially cotton farming at that time, and so it hasn't seemed too hard for me. My uh, lawyer said when my husband died uh, nearly 11 years ago for me to make no changes. And uh, I said, what do you mean? And he said, I mean for you to make no changes. I said, what I'm going to do uh, with all those black Angus cows that uh, my husband has bought that we have, he said, you're going to keep them. You know as much about it as he did. And I did. So I did kept, keep them. And that, I think, has really meant uh, almost the salvation of my life and my mind because I was so busy I didn't have time to maybe grieve like I would have. I'm 81. I, I guess you might say I've been farming about 11, nearly 11 years since my husband died. If I'm going to farm, I have no one to help. Therefore, I have to do whatever comes to be done. It matters not what it is. I have to find a way if I don't have know how. I build my own gates, I hang them, I have a circular saw that I saw all the parts, measure all parts for a gate, saw them all here at the house where I have electricity, carry them to the place that I'm going to hang it, I build the gate and then hang it by way of lifts, maybe tubs or concrete blocks or whatever, until I have nailed the hinges on and hang it. My husband had the, all of the fencing done before he died, but there's always breaks of one kind and another, and I repair. I have a stretcher, and usually I don't have to use a stretcher. I use two hammers most times to repair. I have black Angus cattle, purebred, registered. I usually keep 100 head of cattle, but I've recently sold uh, 67 head because they haven't been worth too much. And uh, all of the years until last year, I've had to pay income tax on what I've made on my cattle because I'd sell some of them for breeding purposes and others to uh, buyers who, whom I know. And uh, so I have done that but I felt that maybe I better just kind of cut down. I have only 36 now, and uh, I'm just keeping those to kind of see whether the price goes up or whether they don't. And I raise my hay. I have 16 acres that I have cut every year for hay, and I usually get from uh, 1,500 to uh, 2,000 bales of hay, and that's enough from my cattle that I keep. I have a large barn that my husband uh, made troughs all the way through, and they're big enough to hold just one bale of hay after another. I have the hay stacked back of the troughs, and I just lift those 65 and 70 pound bales over into that trough at one by one until uh, the, I have enough to feed as many cows as I have. I raise uh, a garden. I would guess uh, it's at least a fifth of a acre, and sometimes when I'm working it, I, I'm sure it's a half acre. <laughs> I've had to water it consistently. Luckily, I have a lake up over where my garden is. And that pipe, I stop up one end at the garden with a stick with a rag wrapped around it. Then I go up to the levee and I fill the pipe, the lead pipe, with water. Usually takes about six or eight gallons to fill it. And then I stick a stick with a rag on it in that and keep it very tight until I wade down into the lake and put that 
under water with a rock on it and then pull out the stick with the rag in it. Then I go back to the garden and pull the stick out there and I have a great big inch of, uh, of water coming out and then I take pipes and put to the lead pipe, just uh, shave them off and stick them in and water the whole garden. Whatever you have to do, you have to do if you have a farm. You, if you don't know how to do it, you have to learn. Lillian Thornton lived another 12 years after that story aired on Farm Week. She passed away at the age of 93 in 1989.